Okay, quick disclaimer for this video. This is actually Sunday's episode. Uh, I accidentally uploaded today's episode on Sunday. So this one was meant to go out on Sunday, but it's going out today on Wednesday. A little bit confusing, I know. That's why I said at the start of the video uh, on Sunday's episode, okay, it's Sunday, uh, so, uh, sorry, okay, it's Wednesday, it's 4 p.m. I meant to say, okay, it's Sunday, and it's 10 a.m., but I just got confused with which ones are going up when. So apologies for that. Shouldn't be any more confusion anymore. Enjoy the video. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. If we can hit 1,000 likes on this video, that would be absolutely great. I would really appreciate it. Please leave a like if you do enjoy the content. And if you want to be involved in any of the upcoming I Rate Your Teams, it's really easy to get involved. Tweet me a hasty screenshot from your Xbox, PlayStation, PC, Elgato, anything like that. Um... Two screenshots. If you use a, a different, if you start in a formation like a four-three-three and change like a four-one-two-one-two, please send me both screenshots so I can see for chemistry purposes. Uh, and just give me a brief description of your team. You know, how many coins have you got? Who's tradable? Who's untradable? Um, you know, who you're working towards? If you've got any icon swap tokens, let me know of that. Uh, if you're working towards a certain player, you want one player specifically to stay in your squad, let me know. Uh, anything and everything you feel like you need to tell me about your team, please do, and uh, and I'll go through and uh, and I'll rate them. So we're actually doing this one live on Twitch. Um, if you guys don't know, I stream uh, pretty often. Um, and the link to that is in the description down below. Um, I stream rewards and I stream uh, other things as well. So we're actually doing this one live on Twitch. And this is a pre-recording. I am recording this uh, last Sunday. Uh, I am currently in New York. Uh, having a great time, thank you for asking. None of you asked. But um, yeah, I'm having a fantastic time, hopefully, in New York right now. Um, so I've got to pre-record these. So that's why it's pre-recorded. Everything should be fine from Wednesday when we get back from New York. So yeah, let's get into it. Anyway, uh, the first one's from Fuzzy Legend who says, Hi, I've got 120k to spend. Untradables are Haji, Guardiola, Roberto Carlos, Paulinho, PK, Walcott, Mata. Uh, the same formation in game. And I put Ronaldo striker, Haji at right cam. Love you, vids. Uh, and love what you're doing. Great job. Keep, just keep growing. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Uh, all right. So what would I do with this team with 120,000 coins? Um, did you say Ramos is tradable or untradable? Um, okay, so Ramos is tradable. How much can you actually get for Ramos right now? Because I think there's only really one thing I'd do with this team uh, currently. So Sergio Ramos is 95k, or 98.5k, sorry. Uh, how much is Varane? Is Varane cheap enough? Okay, so what I would do is I would sell your Roberto Carlos and pick up Rafael Varane. Um, now that'll leave you, because you'll get, what, just under 100k. That'll leave you with about 25 to 30k. Then with those coins, I would save up for Testegen as your goalkeeper. I think that Testegen's unreal this game, and Varane's a fantastic uh, centre back as well. Now, if, obviously, if you're not, um, you know, you want to get Testegen now, you could just get Longley instead of Varane. Uh, but I think Varane's a much better, uh, a much better centre back. Let me know how that Socrates plays as well, because he was one of my favourite players last year. Uh, but I didn't really, um, I don't know, I, didn't, I haven't really tried him this year. I feel like he's a little bit against the meta. So uh, let me know how he plays. Um, moving on now, we've got next one from Tom, who says, all special cards are and Sane are untradeable, 4 and 2 on 2, bracket 2 in game. What should I improve? You only have 7,000 coins at the minute. Okay, all right, we're going to try and look at this. Uh, I don't know why it, why it shows so HD in the, in the preview and then it's so blurry when you open it up. Uh, you have 7,000 coins. What should you work towards? I would work towards a better left side. Um, McGinn, in my opinion, is average. Same, I mean, Sane is decent, but... Again, in my opinion, is not great. I would personally look to improve your your left side. Uh, I would look to possibly get Pogba over McGinn. That gives Kante full chemistry. And then, uh, obviously, that's far in the future. You know, you've got to go through a few rewards to get towards that. Um, and then I pro probably just look towards getting, like, uh, a better left mid as well. Um, the thing that I find with Sane sometimes is that uh, I think that his right foot lets him down a little bit. But, yeah, aside from that, um, yeah, I think that I think you go with... Uh, I think the play you work towards is, is definitely Pogba over uh, McGinn. Uh, the next one is going to be from Kieran, who says, Hi, man, loving the content. Thank you very much, dude. Appreciate that. He's got 200,000 coins, and I play a 4 2 in game with Benyeda and Dembele up top, Kante, Fabinho, CDMs. Okay, so I see you've got you've got Modric as a cam. You've got 200k, but you've got Modric as a cam. Modric, I think, is about 60k. So let's call it 260k. You've got to be getting a better player here. I don't think Modric is a good cam at all this year. Who would I go for? I think Griezmann's definitely the first option I think is straight in the head. I think Griezmann could be a great option. Um, I think he'd be a very good cam this year. He's got an amazing left foot. His finesse shots are ridiculous this year as well. So I think Griezmann could definitely be an option. Um, you could go with... I, I don't know, really. Um, 
I'm trying to think of plays that will actually get you chemistry here. Uh, obviously, there's, there's a whole heap of Spanish plays you could go with, you know, uh, Scream, Iago Aspas. You could go with Scream, Gamero. You could go with, um, you know, players like that. Fekir, if you wanted to go with Fekir. I would just say replace uh, Modric with, um, I don't know, just a, just a big uh, a big cam. Uh, a better cam, should I say. A big player, a good cam. Uh, that's what I personally say. Uh, moving on now. Uh, it's coming from Goku. Uh, Goku's got 150,000 coins. Everyone is tradable except Vardy. Uh, already get Merton instead of Lozano. Love the vids. Keep it up. All right. So you got Merton's there over Lozano. And you've got 150k. What would I do with 150k with this squad? Good question. I would replace Vardy, to be honest. Um, don't get me wrong. Vardy is pretty solid, but I don't think he's good enough anymore. I think that he was good for a while, but... You know, I don't think he's quite at the level anymore that uh, is is competable, in my opinion, competitive. That's, that's sort of the way I see it. What would I do with this squad? Uh, I mean, who would I get instead of Vardy is a good question. Um, Lacazette could be an option. Uh, and then you play Lacazette, Cam and Rashford up top. Um, that You know, that's the first option that I, I think of straight away. Obviously, get the French link. Um, you could just get Martial up there as well, play him on seven chemistry as a left forward. That could work as well. Obviously, you're using uh, Lozano beforehand. Maybe that's something you're used to. Uh, I think that you explore whichever striker you think works well for your play style um, and, and go forward with that. That's sort of what I would do. The next one is from Foot Hurley. He has one uh, he has one swap left for Rio, Pep, Kappa, uh, and the Venture Untradeable. Have 700k to upgrade. Love your content. Your biggest supporter. Thank you very much, mate. I do recognize you always in the stream. Um, so you're going to be getting Rio Ferdinand. That's actually solid. Now, I've said it a few times. I'm not the biggest fan of Aguero this year. Uh, he works for other people. I'm just not the biggest fan of Aguero. I just don't think that he scores a lot. I do know that Hurley actually uh, has a really good return on Aguero. So I'm not going to say replace Aguero because uh, I know that he has a really good goal to game ratio with Aguero. What would I look for in this in this team though? I would try and upgrade Kappa. Now, I have used that inform Kappa. Wasn't the biggest fan. I think that you could get Nelson Samedo and I think he'd do a better job there. Uh, also, Rafael Varane with 700k would be a great option there too. Rafael Varane over uh, Eder Militao. Um, and I think you're, you're laughing after that. And then you just sort of, you know, have a bit of fun with your coins maybe. You know, maybe do a base icon pack or something. I don't know. Um, grind towards one possibly, make it cheaper. Um, regardless though, I think that uh, it's a really, really solid team. And uh, especially with the, the two base icons. I think icon swaps has to be one of the best promos that isn't a promo EA has ever released. I think that the ability to get free icons, yes, it, it's very time consuming, but I think that it's, it's a great uh, thing EA have released to, to you know have the ability um, to get free icons. I think it's, it's actually pretty cool. The next one is from Matt. Matt's, uh, uh, if you guys don't know, Matt's Nepenthe as a designer, has designed a few things for me as well. Um, sadly, he's too big for me now. He doesn't reply to my DMs anymore. <laughs> Feels bad. But uh, he says, I'm getting Carlos and swaps and I have around 400k. I play like this in game two. All right, what would I do with this team? Uh, I get rid of Endon Bele for Sizoko, at least until he gets an upgrade. I think that uh, Sizoko is going to be better as a CDM. Don't like... Um, I, I'm just not a big fan of, uh, of Fernandinho. I see that you need the link. Um, you could go with Scream Deli Ali. I, I know you're a Tottenham fan. Um, let's have a look at Deli Ali's stats real quick. See if he'd be a decent CDM. I'm not a, I'm not 100% sure what is. I mean, he's got 8-year defending. Um, good interceptions. Good defensive awareness, good stand tackling. His slide tackling is not great, but you don't really need that. Decent strength, great stamina. I think that, yeah, I think this Deli Ali card would work well. It's only 200k too. So yeah, I think I think uh, try and fit in Deli Ali at your CDM spot. Now I know that puts Eder Militao off chemistry, uh, which is why I would personally then switch with uh, with PK when you get Roberto Carlos. That gives Eder Militao full chemistry. It obviously doesn't keep uh, PK on full chemistry, but I think that I would personally sacrifice the, uh, the chemistry there to get a better CDM. Uh, alternatively, you could get Longley over Eder Militao. I think you've still got enough coins for that. Um, and that would also get you full chemistry there too. And you could obviously put Longley on the left, peak on the right, and then get full chemistry there as well. Um, yeah, aside from that, I think the team's pretty uh, pretty solid, well-built, well-balanced, you know, things like that. Uh, the next one's from Wesley, uh, who says, all tradable except for Di Maria. Saving for Garincha or Messi, a play 4 2 one in game. Definitely get Garincha over Messi, in my opinion. Now, that's controversial, I know. 
Uh, but Garincha is different gravy this year. He is absolutely unreal. His dribbling is fantastic. His shot is unreal. He's, he's obviously five-star skill moves. He's just got so much flair. He's absolutely fantastic. What would I do with this team? Now, it's a bit of a downgrade in terms of rating, but in stats, I don't think so. I would actually get Roussillon over uh, Alaba over here at left back. Um, alternatively, you could get, you know, UCL uh, Vendel. You could get... Uh, any sort of um, any any left back here from the Bundesliga, that's French maybe either. Uh, you know, you could get Ferl and Mendy there. You guys know I, I love a Ferl and Mendy. Um, I just think that Alaba's not amazing. Obviously, you probably have him untradeable, so that might you know be why you want to uh, you want to keep him there. But I don't know. I just think that you're probably better off with a with a better left back there. Um, I like the icons. I mean. Either you've done a hell of a lot of icon uh, SBC packs and been very lucky in the ones you've got, or you just like buying icons. I don't know, but hey, you know the the icon icon design's cool. Uh, it's cool to have them all in your squad. So GG on that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much just all I do with your squad, to be honest. Um, nice squad, very well, very well built. You know, I like it. Uh, next one is from uh, BBB. His at is I love Haber. Love that. Absolutely love it. Uh, I have 100k Urzel and Vardy and Carlos and Tradable came from the stream. You're yeah, absolute legend. Um, what would I do with 100k with this team? Uh, Urzel's not a centre mid. I just don't think he'd be great at centre mid. Um, I think that, you know, in terms of centre mids in the Prem, you've got Deli Ali, you've got Wijnaldum, you've got Endombele that would work well. Um, I think that that's definitely the first place you look to upgrade. And then I'd upgrade Lindelof to, you know, Davinson Sanchez or someone along those lines. Um, and then I think you've got a pretty nice team. Obviously, you're, you're very attacking. I just don't think that Urzel is really the, um, I don't think he's the, uh, the shot there. I just don't think he's uh I don't think he's the play over there at right center mid. But aside from that, I think your team is well built. The next one comes from Lionel Fernandez, who says all SBC players are untradeable. Griezmann, Roberto Carlos, and Giggs too. 350k in a 442. Thanks. All right, let's check it out. Um damn, what a team. What a team. So um, all the SBCs are untradeable. Griezmann, Roberto Carlos, and Giggs as well. Okay, so I'm guessing that you got uh Giggs like in the base icon pack, something like that. You got 350k to spend though. Um what would I do? I'm not the. I didn't like Baby Hullet in this game. I really didn't. Uh, now, how much is Baby Hullet? Uh, base Hullet's card is. It's got to be over a million, surely. One point one. This is a stretch. Can you afford Zidane with one point four? I, I mean, I think I'm a bit out of touch with the price here. Yep, I was way out of touch. Okay, so you can't actually get Zidane there. What would I do in terms of, of that spot? Oh, Pogba might be a good shout. I know it's a massive downgrade, but I just didn't like Hullet. I thought that he ran out of stamina quickly and he just didn't feel like what Hullet usually feels like. That's just from personal experience. Uh, Baby Blanc is fantastic this year. He'd be a great all-round uh, midfielder for you. Um, I think he's definitely one that you look at as well. Aside from that, that's, that strike force is unreal. That midfield, you know, is solid apart from maybe gigs, but hey it's an icon at the end of the day uh that defense is is huge as well not not stature wise they're actually all pretty small fellas apart from kyle walker um but it's actually a, a really really nice defense as well i like that team it, it's well built uh the next one is coming from uh ben uh ben's got hundred thousand coins worth of improvements uh de bruyne ferdinand and guardiola are untradeable love the videos thank you very much man you got 100k for improvement i like that you got david Villa in the squad not the biggest fan of Jamie Vardy again. I just didn't like him when when I when I picked him up. I think honestly, Gabriel Jesus would probably be better. Four star skills, better dribbling, uh, better hold up play from Gabriel Jesus. I think you'd probably be better off using him as a striker. Uh, what else would I do? I think you, your defense is solid. Your midfield is fantastic. I think yeah, I'd, I'd go with Gabriel Jesus to be honest and bench Jamie Vardy as, a, as an impact super sub. I, that's just personal opinion. I just personally did not like him um but that's just you know that's just sort of how uh how how i like plays in this game the next one's coming from jack right could you rate my team love the content as well of course jack uh what would i give this team out of 10 this team's a solid seven seven and a half out of ten i think that you know you've got you've got you know avenues to improve but i think that's the bit of the fun in, in teams in fifa is that you do have avenues to improve obviously you know laporte you could improve to a better center back um Ozil, you could improve to a better cam you could get better strikers here and there i think that there's avenues to improve the team but it's also fun when you've got different avenues to explore um the next one is from charlie ford uh love the vids uh nabri and babu kanate dembele walker and all the bench and reserves are untradeable uh broke but we'll have about 100 200 count thursday any suggestions? Second pick is what I was thinking of getting, and third is how I play in game. Any suggestions are greatly appreciated. Well, I appreciate the support, Charlie. Um, this is what you're thinking of getting, and this is what you play in game, or this is what you will play in game. Would I say? I think you go with it. Yeah, I think you get this. 
I think you get this 100%. This is way better than what you originally had. That's way better. Um, yeah, I, I would go with, with, with option number two. Now, obviously, you're not getting full chem on, on Kante there. You could... Um, Really, you could go instead of so obviously you're playing you're playing Dembele as a wide cam. You could go with a, a centre mid. You could go with a, a you know a, a Premier League French player. Try and get the full chemistry there. Um, I I don't usually advocate bringing people on as subs, but that could be an option just to get the full chemistry. Um, alternatively, you know you could uh, you could swap Kante uh, to centre mid and go with a different cam that will get full chemistry as well. But I think that you've got a lot of different places that you can work towards when you build this team as well, which is also cool. Um, so yeah, I like it. I think that team's actually really, really solid. Definitely better than what you had before, 100%. Uh, the next one is coming from Dylan. Uh, Please can you rate my team? Everyone is untradeable apart from the right back and goalkeeper. The first image is how I start. Second is what I play in game. Wow, you're using, you're using the silver guy from Arsenal. I forget his name, but fair enough. Um, okay. How many coins did you say you had? You have... Uh, you didn't say how many coins you had. Um... Okay, what would I do? Good question, actually. I appreciate that you're using the left wing to get a Bamiyang on full chemistry. You know, I understand that. Um, what you could do is, you know, for chemistry purposes, so you don't have to sub somebody on. Because who do you sub on for the silver guy? Who doesn't start in this team? You sub on Griezmann. I mean, what you could do is, you could put Allen to striker. Uh, you then could put a Bamiyang to left centre mid, and then you could get Philippe Anderson. And then that saves you subbing someone on straight away. And then obviously like a half time or something you can bring on Griezmann. I think that might help you out. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's sort of uh, I think that's what I would do with your team. Apart from that, you know, I think it's 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 a well built squad. Allen's crazy good. Paulinho is crazy good as well. Um, Hulk, I'm not the biggest fan of, but at Cam, I can see him being pretty decent. You know, he's really strong. He's got a really good left foot. I can see him being a really good hold up play uh, sort of player. Um, I think your back line's really cool as well. Uh, moving on now is from Daniel Welsh. Love the vids. Pep is the only untradeable and have a roughly 100k for upgrades. Looking to do the David via SBC. How could I fit him in? How could you fit him in? You could. Um, I think the only way you fit this, this this guy in is by getting rid of uh, Ramos. No, that wouldn't work. Um, you don't have screen PK. I think the only way you fit this in is by going. Because getting rid of Ramos won't work. I think the only yeah, I think the only way you fit him in by uh, by by looking at the squad is by going, um, by going with, and this is obviously this is downgrading your team, but it's the only way you get him in. I think you go with um, a right back Kappa, the inform, and then at right centre mid David Villa, and then up top you play at, at Cam possibly you play Allen, um, and I think that's the only way you get them in on, on full chemistry. Um, and then you've got, you know, Allen's the sending mid that you swap with David Villa in game. Uh, obviously, it weakens your side a bit, but if you really want to get him in, you really want to get him in. But that's it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Um, everyone from Harry Thompson and below uh, will be in uh, this coming Wednesday's episode. I've got to pre record yet another episode. I know it's crazy. I've pre recorded so many, but I've got to pre record it yet another episode. Uh, so that will come out on Wednesday. So look out for that if you think you're going to be, if you submit your team basically on Sunday night. Uh, check out Wednesday's episode. Uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the support recently, and I'll see you later.